We're going to briefly explain why you feel what you feel. You have an inner being. It was the whole of you before you came into this body. Non-physical consciousness, pure positive energy, God force, love. That's who you eternally are. And from that perspective, you chose a personality into this body. You chose a part of that consciousness to focus here with others. Oh, leading edge creators, taking thought beyond what it's been before, expanding the universe through your willingness to participate in a leading edge environment. How good is that? We all thank you for that. So here you are, actually two perspectives, the non-physical you who's always focused with you and the physical you, here you are banging around with other people, having experiences, fighting with them, loving with them. In other words, all kinds of variety of experience. Here you are as a physical being, but not without the complete awareness and participation of your inner being, of your source energy being, who is always love, always giving someone the benefit of the doubt, always knowing the value of diversity, always knowing that you are powerful and worthy beings so when you find something to fuss and worry about and you focus on it for a little while you can get yourself feeling pretty bad because you are pinching yourself off is not exactly the way to explain it how to explain it you know everything that we talk about here even though it is under a spiritual label even though it is about non-physical even though it is about human stuff, physical stuff, non-physical stuff, God stuff, source stuff. Everything that you live in this physical world is about the same thing. It's about energy and the way the energies mix. It's more like chemistry than it is about sociology or psychiatry. Sociology takes you into a counselor's chair, therapist's chair, somebody's chair. <laughs> and it says, how do you feel? We ask that too. What's on your mind? We want to know that too. But we want you to go to the science of it. We want you to understand why the chemistry of your body produces for you what you call negative emotion or fear, or why the chemistry of your body produces something for you that you would call love or appreciation or exhilaration. In other words, what's going on? What's going on with your physical chemistry is not different than the law-based chemistry of chemistry. Everything has reason. And once you understand what you can mix with what and what mixes well and what the results of what you mix will give you, then you've got control of the chemistry of your deliberate creation. But until then, you are just lying blind, so to speak, and making lots of decisions based upon flawed premises. But we want to show you how you can show yourself moment by moment, how to make the choices that best align with who you are coming in from source and who you've become since you've been here. We want you to feel the absolute clarity of the decisions that you're making so that you're not just guessing and then disappointed and then turning to other people and asking their opinions, which are so vastly varied and really of no purpose for you. But just like the chemistry of cooking, you know, get out the cookbook and decide what you'd like to make and put the appropriate measure of the ingredients in. Don't just guess and tweak it to your taste, of course. But isn't there logic to the scientific study of everything? There is. And don't you want to begin applying a broader logic instead of such a guessing game to the decisions that you're making moment by moment? When you turn on the television and you watch something and you find yourself confused or upset or enraged, 
the chemistry of your body is showing you the chemistry of your point of attraction you are being given a physical manifestation of the mix of what you know from source energy perspective and what you're concluding from your now human perspective and you have that personal chemistry excuse the dog on a bone nature of this conversation we want you to understand your own guidance system we want you to understand where it comes from we want you to understand the true nature of your being we want you to know that you were source energy and a part of you came into this physical body and you're sifting and sorting and knowing what you don't want when you know what you don't want you launch rockets of what you do want and this vibrational electrical energy precedes you and it moves into a vibrational sphere that we've named the vortex it's a vibrational reality and it's the beginning of everything that becomes manifested everything that you are about is creating what is your next experience your next experience your next experience Esther has a really really good friend she walks with him on a pretty regular basis and they talk about this stuff incessantly and they talk about all kinds of stuff incessantly what's going on with his work what's going on with Esther's work what's going on with staff what's going on with travel they're talking about where they might eat tonight in other words there's a bunch of them hanging around together living life deliberately having as much fun as they can have and one day not long ago he said I'm trying to get my staff to close the loop with me and Esther said what do you mean and he said well something will come up we'll talk about it we'll decide who's gonna do what and then often they do it but they don't let me know they've done it or they don't do it and they don't let me know that they haven't done it so I'm sort of hanging out here wondering and I don't want to have to call everybody to find out what the status of everything is I think with all the technology that we have today there should be easy ways to just keep closing the loop and Esther thought I really like that I hardly close the loop with anybody <laughs> I could do a lot better job of that then she started thinking about the things that we've been talking about for all these years that we've been talking like this with those like you things like satisfaction comes from only one place satisfaction comes from you your satisfaction comes from you having an intention and I want I desire I intend and then you moving in the direction of that with your thoughts words and deeds that's what satisfaction is dissatisfaction is wanting it and talking smack about it oh yeah I'd like more prosperity but it is highly unlikely not satisfying oh yeah that guy over there's got so much money he's probably a drug dealer <laughs> letting what you want as you see it in others be a basis of your insecurity rather than of your inspiration and so what we're talking about here Esther thought that's kind of like closing the loop when I want something and I think about it I'm moving in the direction of what I want and then she thought oh no you know what it is you know what it is the closing the loop that I'm looking for as I'm wanting to weave it in to what Abraham's been teaching us is when something manifests oh oh don't you just love it when you've been wanting something and then it comes don't you just love it when the phone call you've been wanting to receive you receive or the information you've been looking for comes or the idea that you've been wondering about or the question to the answer or the solution to the problem don't you really 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 like that part of life best admit it you do we don't blame you manifestation is rich and delicious it's so delicious to intend something and then to accomplish it or to receive it or to let it in and it is equally undelicious to have something that you want linger out there seemingly forever not feeling the satisfaction of closing that gap and so we want to say to you that as you point in the direction of wanted as you talk about what you want and why you want it as you look for the easy existing matches about it what happens to the chemistry of your being what happens to the vibrational harmony between you and your inner being and your desire this is big the harmony between you and your inner being and your desire what happens to you as you pay attention to how you feel that harmony 
That alignment, that lack of contradiction allows a momentum that brings you more ideas, more rendezvous, more satisfaction, more fun. The loop's still open, 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 the loop's still open. In fact, the loop is getting richer and more beautiful and there's more facets to it that are delighting me and then BAM! Manifestation comes and things you didn't even realize you were asking for are all woven in to this manifestation that comes. Closing of the loop is not our point odd because it was a long story <laughs> the closing of the loop is not this story it's that there's another open loop another one opening another one opening another one opening another one opening what we want you to become aware of and eager about not just willing but eager about is all these open loops, all these you on your way to this and you on your way to this and you on your way to this and this one closed. Oh, that was fun for a minute. It was fun for a minute. Esther bought a new Cadillac Escalade because she wants OnStar. <laughs> the other day, she was happy for a day. Thrilled happy, thrilled, thrilled, thrilled happy for a day. It wasn't the big bang for her buck that she thought it was going to be. It's lovely. She looks like an Uber driver. <laughs> but it's the open loops that are the richness and the deliciousness of your life experience. It's what you're asking for. It's the energy that's flowing to you and through you. It's the discovery of this new harmony and this new harmony and this new easy existing match and this new friend who knows it too and this new friend that's interested in it too and this new friend of alignment, not friends of opposition, you're not looking for people to oppose so that you can get your chops by getting strong and push against. That is anti-creating. That is resisting. That's not letting it in. What letting it in is you choosing because you get to and you choosing because you're good at it and you focusing on what you're choosing because it feels good. You keeping that loop open and the flow of what you want coming to you and through you and to you and through you as the momentum of your desires get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you staying happy with life because it's eternal and ongoing and every now and again because of your thrill of what you're focused upon something manifests and you say yay me yay you yay us isn't this a wonderful world we live in where new ideas are coming and new improvements are coming and new lifestyles are being lived and new experiences are being had you never get it done and you cannot get it wrong what do you want to talk about we know that was long really long if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see